Hello everyone and welcome to this short presentation of mine. My name is Timon Kopp, I'm an ArcSight pre-sales from Microfocus based in the Dach region. And I would like to present to you a short example of how you could integrate ArcSight with a third-party software. In this example we're going to use Elasticsec for, the, for this integration. First of all, I would like to give you a short introduction about this scenario, so some theoretical part, uh, parts and afterwards I'd like to show this to you in a demo. So what are the goals for this example, for this scenario? We want to get events from ArcSight into ElasticStack, we want to get the events back from the ElasticStack into ArcSight, and for this purpose, or for the purpose of this demonstration, we want to keep track of each event's history in ArcSight. So let's take a look at the workflow here. <clears throat> we start by sending an event from the test alert connector to the THSF topic from our transformation hub. The transformation hub has an out-of-the-box topic or, or routing rule that transforms the events from the THSF into Avro format and putting them into the TH ArcSight Avro topic. From there, the events will be consumed by ArcSight Recon. The second route is to send the events from THSF in CEF format to the TH Elastic C, for C standing for consumer topic. This is a custom topic that I created just for this demonstration to keep to keep the routings orderly. The third route that has that you will see we, that you are going to see is from THSF to the AS to the ESM filtered topic for ArcSight detect to consume them later on. We are not going to use this route actively in this example, but in case you already have a routing rule from THSF to the ESM topic, you might need to pay attention to modify this rule as otherwise you might create a, a loop or something. <clears throat> so we're not using this, but pay attention that in case you might need to modify this existing route. Then let's go further to the Elastic Stack. The Elastic Stack stack will consume events from the elastic consumer topic. It might do some changes to the events and then send them to the elastic producer topic. This is also a topic I created for the purpose of this scenario to keep some to keep it orderly and have a better overview. From the elastic producer topic we have two routes again. The first one is going back to the TH SAF topic in SAF format as well from where it will be transformed into the ArcSight Avro format and from there sent to the ArcSight Recon again. <clears throat> the second route from the Elastic Producer topic sends events from the Producer topic to the ESM filtered topic. From there it will, it will transform the events as well into Avro. This is out of the box as well and from there it will be collected by ArcSight Detect. Some of you might still know, know ArcSight Detect as ESM, just for your information. We are calling it Detect here. And ArcSight Detect will receive this event. It might as well change something to it and using the ArcSight forwarding connector it's going to send the event back into the TH SAF topic in SAF format and from there again just we create another um, uh, forwarding to the ArcSight Recon. Let's take a look at the components that have been used in this scenario in a chronological list. <clears throat> we were first using the ArcSight Test Alert Connector, sending the events to the Transformation Hub that, has, that is managed by the ArcSight Management Center. From there we sent the events to the Elastic Stack, where we were using Logstash in and output for receiving and sending the events. <clears throat> Next one was ArcSight Detect, including the forwarding connector to send events in Ceph back to the TH Ceph topic. And finally ArcSight Recon to save all the different stages of the events. 
we are now going to get into the detail of those components what has been configured to make this scenario running. The test dollar connector only had two fields filled out. First one is the name where I just named my test alert XY while XY being any number. Device custom string one has been set to not elastic. There will be no active use for the device custom string one, but this is just serves as a flag for me to keep to keep an overview. Then we have the destination is the transformation hub topic THSF and the source as a source we have the agent host name sets at tcop02.microfocus.com which is my notebook. So let's take a look at the routing rules in the transformation hub. <coughs> we see right on top the first route is from the source topic, topic THSF to the destination topic TH Elastic C. This rule only applies if the device vendor is not equal elastic search. And as I've been using the test dollar connector, the device vendor has been set automatically to art side. So that means this rule is fulfilled and the event will be sent to the from the source topic THSF to the destination topic TH Elastic C. Then as I mentioned, the filter for ESM, in case you already already have an existing rule for THSF to MF event ESSF ESM filter topic, you might need to pay attention that you need to add device vendor une unequal elastic search as well. <coughs> so let's say this is the rule you had before, device vendor unequal arc site and count equals one, then you need to add this one at the end. <coughs> then we have the source topic producers, the producer source topics where they send, send the events once to the THSF and once to the MF event ESSF ESM filtered. But, and here, of course, we want to, um, we want to check that the device vendor has been, uh, is elastic search. More to that in the next step. <coughs> we have the elastic stack lock stash. In this part, I'm going to explain what I was using to read and forward the events from Elastic Stack into or into and from Elastic Stack. First, I was using Kafka and Ceph codec for the input. Then I did a small filter, um, a mutate and update filter. Basically, I just updated the two fields: device custom string one to Elastic and device vendor to Elastic Search. I told you the device custom string only serves as a flag, so that means once it's set to Elastic, I'm aware that it has been changed by Elasticsearch, and device vendor equals sh uh, shall be updated to Elasticsearch. This is used for the rules that you have seen in the transformation hub. <coughs> the output is the same as the input. We're using Kafka and Ceph codec. Quick overview regarding the recon and detect modules. Basically, the detect consumes events from the MF event offer ESM filtered and detect forwards all events with device vendor equals Elasticsearch to back to the transformation hub in the THSF topic. Recon has been configured to consume events from TH arc site ever and the goal is for Recon to have a copy of, of an event after each pit stop. Pit stops being the test dollar connector, the elastic stack, and ArcSight Detect. So that was the theoretical part, and now let's switch to a practical demonstration. First of all, we're going to switch to the test dollar connector where we will set, as already mentioned, a name. In this example, my test alert 45. And we're going to set device custom string one to not elastic. That only serves as a, uh, as a flag for no, with no practical meaning now. After sending the event, we're first going to recap the rules at the RKMC with two source topics, um, two times the source topic Ceph, once with device vendor unequal Elasticsearch sending to Elastic Consumer, and 
the existing ESM rule that's also um, that also has already been set with this part just make sure if you already have a rule that you add at uh, another rule to prevent the loop at the end in this case as well device vendor unequal elastic search so that that means if we now go to the elastic search or the elastic stack and take a look at the kivana or web interface we will now see the my test alert 45 has arrived it has updated device custom string one to elastic and the device vendor to elastic search instead of our site before so that means we should now be able to see my test alert 45 in esm as well as we can see in the RKMC, from the Elastic producer topic, there's two routes, one to THCEF and therefore to Recon, and one to ESM. So let's switch to the ESM from the Fusion panel. I have an active channel that, uh, that filters for events that start with my test alert. So so and now we should expect, expect my test alert 45 to appear with device vendor elastic search and device custom string one elastic that means it has already passed the elastic search and we can confirm that it really did take the right path that event so then if we go to recon we should see this event in all three stages so meaning after every pit stop <coughs> Let's open my safe search that also st uh, filters for name starts with my test alert. Let's refresh the search and we should expect three events. Yes, it has the same global event ID. It has all the same name, my test alert 45. And we can see uh, the order isn't the right one, but uh, we can see the not elastic is the event that has been sent from my notebook so the agent host name sets at copt.0 uh, to microfocus.com and then the next top would be the elastic so meaning the it's still it still should have the same host name but the device custom string one should have been updated to elastic and finally from ESM that's where the host name should have been updated and the device custom string one should still say the, stay the same so we can see that the event sent from the test alert connector has done the typical the, the planned route from the test alert connector through elastic stack into ESM and finally we can co uh, track all three events in recon so thank you very much for watching i hope this helped you and hope this will help you in your own undertakings goodbye Thank you.